Oh. You say you're gonna come over here? Good. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Angela Fountain with the Texas Highway Patrol stationed out of the Woodlands. Uh, currently, probably uh, shortly before 3 or right at 3 a.m., um, Montgomery County dropped a, a call to reference a northbound vehicle on the southbound frontage road. Uh, by the time officers were responding to the area, uh, a record driver had notified them that it was too late. The vehicle, the northbound vehicle, had entered the southbound main lanes. Uh, before anyone could get to them and struck another vehicle head on. Uh, that vehicle was occupied by three people, two of which are deceased. Um, the driver of the wrong way vehicle uh, is still alive and is currently being treated at a local hospital. What about freeway conditions? The freeway, the main lanes right now south of 1488 are completely sh shut down. Traffic is being diverted by Montgomery County Sheriff's Department onto the frontage road. Uh, in which they can enter the main lanes uh, again south of State Highway 242. We'll probably uh, we'll bring in equipment out here to do measurements. The Montgomery County District Attorney's Office is en route to the scene. Uh, so the uh, main lanes in this area are probably going to be shut down for extended period of time this morning. Basically through the rush you think? Absolutely. Through. What about any detour, any routes people could take besides this? Um, they can always take, uh, if they're coming from the north, they can utilize 1314 to State Highway 242. Uh, they can utilize 1488 around to State Highway 242 and enter the main lanes from the frontage road there. Um, other than that, that's about the only ones I can think of.
put that in there so we can get that in the public record. Got it. Got it. Further back. You're not getting my. First of all, tell me, tell me a little bit about today's accident. The district attorney response team uh, went to a double fatal crash that occurred on Interstate 45 in the southbound lanes at the State Highway 242 overpass. At the scene, it was uh, determined that a Ford pickup truck was driving the wrong way on Interstate 45. A couple of uh, local law enforcement units were responding to 911 calls in an attempt to locate the vehicle. Unfortunately, they couldn't get there in time uh, because the, the pickup truck had struck another Chevrolet Aveo and caused the death of two individuals in that vehicle and serious bodily injury to a third person. Um, as a result of the wrong way crash, as a result of the injuries and the deaths, the district attorney's office has filed three charges in this case. The two charges uh, for the fatalities are intoxication manslaughter cases, and the other one for serious bodily injury is intoxication assault. The uh, victims in the cases were pronounced dead on the scene as, as a result of the crash. The other victim was transported to Memorial Hermann Hospital uh, where he suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries. At least that's what we can determine at this particular point in time. The defendant, Ms. Baucus, has been in the custody of the Department of Public Safety. Uh, <clears throat> when they got to the hospital and determined her blood alcohol content and determined her state of intoxication. Uh, based upon that, uh, she will be placed in the Montgomery County Jail uh, sometime this morning or early afternoon by DPS troopers. Uh, Trooper Ortega and Trooper Brack are the lead investigators in the case as it relates to the intoxication investigation. I think that's it.